Uh, hello, this is Tom from uh, anti-proton.com. Uh, this is lead. It's really heavy. It's pretty hardcore. It's coated also in a polyurethane spray if you're wondering why I'm holding it without, uh, without latex rubber gloves. Although these are getting ready to be sprayed again and I always wash my hands afterwards regardless. You know, why take a chance? Radiation is not the only thing in the world that can hurt you. In fact, chemicals and about other environmental factors can sometimes be even worse, depending on all, you know, depending on like a million different variables. I guess I can't make that statement, but regardless, I have uh, purchased 30 bars of lead that are each like about six to seven pounds. So you're looking at about 180 pounds of lead, which is going to surround my uh, uh, gamma spectrometer which is of course dubbed Nikoname. It's actually Nekonome, if you want to be, uh, I think, more accurate about the pronunciation. And um, this is going to block gammas, allowing me to see only what's coming out of the source. Now the reality is it's not going to block all of the gammas. Some will make it through, they always will. But based on what's called a, um, uh, based on the uh, uh, having value of lead, meaning that, that a certain amount of lead will approximately decrease the intensity of the amount of gammas hitting you by 50%. Based on that approximation, um, I believe I can stop up to nearly 2 million electron volt gammas with over 90% efficiency. Um, from the range that I tend to work in, which is around 13 to 14 kilo electron volts up to about 1,020 kilo electron volts, that's about where I like to stay, I will block nearly all of them. Not all of them. You never really block all of them. One could always make it through. But I will block so many of them, it's ridiculous. Um, and I'll be using big thick pieces like this. <clears throat> I also have the designs for the new uh, setup, the new rig, if you like. I'm going to show them to you. They're built in 3D. 3D. Well, 2D for you. You're watching a video of 3D. It's a... Um, rendering, the video part's rendering right this moment on my laptop. Um, basically put, I make everything to scale in CAD and I put the, uh, the, the the models of everything together and I assemble them to see if everything will work. You can, I can use math and everything like that against that to see if it actually looks good because if you're going to design the damn thing, you might as well design it right, correct? I'm also going to use Z-gradient shielding. What that means is objects that have different proton counts with lesser proton counts on the outside growing to larger proton counts on the inside. Protons, the number of protons determine what element it is. So light elements in, in, on the outside, heavy, thick elements like lead on the inside. What that means is that an energetic beta particle flying out of some golly knows what, like this um, little potassium chloride sample, will hit the low energy stuff and slow down gradually so that it doesn't produce secondary gamma and x-rays and etc. as it slows down really fast, because I hate slowing stuff down too fast, you actually can cause radiation, which is obnoxious. It's called Bernstrahlung or something to that effect. I'm not German, so I can't pronounce it. Sorry if you're German. Don't mean to offend you. But, um, <clears throat> basically put, on the inside I'm thinking about coating with a small layer of tin, because I've been talking to some people in the gamma spectroscopy forum, and it looks like tin will do a pretty good job of blocking those x-rays I've been getting in the inside. I think it's time for this, uh, like, for the spectrometer to have a complete upgrade. Everything, so we'll see what we get. Um, <clears throat> but anyhow, let me show you the lead bricks quickly. Not the new ones I'm getting, but an approximation of them, because I have current lead bricks. And then I want you to see the uh, awesome 3D models and everything like that. I've got like a whole little thing showing them all spinning around and the parts coming apart and all that kind of stuff, which I just threw together pretty quickly for you. I could have done a better job at it, but I didn't want to spend the time because I've been, you know, I'm designing it and don't really have a lot of time. So here it is. All right. So here's one of the bars that I'm going to get. This is actually a set of six of the bars that I use right now put together. The reason I'm using these is because their characteristics are approximately each one-sixth of one of the bars. The bars I'm getting are 8.75 inches, and that's, um... Ah, oh, damn it, why do they have that backwards? Well, that's 8.75 times 2.5 centimeters, whatever that works out to. So 8.75 inches long by 1 inch tall by 2 inches wide. So basically about this, almost exactly this but as one bar. I'm getting 30 of them, so I can stack them up all around one another. Um, 
each one of these little guys weighs about 480 um, grams, give or take. And when I weighed them, I got six, approximately six pounds. That's uh, 2.738 kilograms, give or take. Meaning that in reality, I have about 180 pounds of lead plus this. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me do the math on that with my cheap calculator. Seven times six. So I have 42 pounds of lead. In reality, I've got a couple more bricks sitting around, so we'll call it 48, but we'll just call it 42 for now. Plus 180. It's 222 pounds of lead. I'm going to have to reinforce my table or just do this on the floor, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to go with that should probably stop stuff. But anyhow. Um, so without further ado, here is an example of the design that I'm going to be using. The, the cylinder you see in the center of everything is this cylinder right here. It's the um, actual detector itself. See the detector? Go back in there. And um, then the big barrel-y looking thing you see in the back side is actually this. I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. I might wrap this around the outside or something, I'm not sure, but the point is I'll probably get rid of that. And I don't need the little trays. I like the trays. Yes, Spectrum Techniques people I like your tray system. I really do. I'll miss the trays. A lot. Actually, I was thinking about putting that on its back so I could still use the trays, but regardless. Now, I might use these little bricks all the way around the outside to add some additional, maybe an additional inch of, of lead shielding all the way around. But I should be able to block almost all of uh, gamma rays between uh, 0 and 2 MeV close enough. Close enough on 2 MeV. Uh, change in energy with respect to uh, distance given the standard density of lead means that by uh, for uh, two, a two, uh, um, 2 million electron volt gamma is going to make it through only like 2 or 3 percent of the time. So, alright. 